My dearest friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Kaya Sing Mari from Heart to Heart, an intuitive channel and much more. I'm back with a little short energy update for April. As you might know, I painted in January um, an artwork with um, 12 quarters for all months and made a general energy update for this year and really short energy updates for every month between two and three minutes. Before I read you the informations I had back then, first of all you will now when I talk about see the whole picture with all the 12 months, what is really wild, beautiful, colorful and <laughs> eventful um, artwork I found. So we are now in the fourth month. The green one, you will see the images soon. Um, just a quick announcement. I will do another live reading with Antoinette Thompson from To Become One. As we said, we will do this every month now. And this month is a bit different as I will go to a film shoot and everything's in movement at the moment as there are COVID cases in the film team. So we decided to do this live reading on the first weekend in April and on Saturday before Easter. This will take place on Facebook. You can um, see it on my Facebook page. It's also on the page of Antoinette to become one. You will find the links in the description box. On the on April the 3rd, Saturday, 8 p.m. in Australia, Sydney, 11 a.m. in France, Paris. So a bit later this time as well because we already had the time change. And we will do another Wisdom Gathering Circle as well on the second weekend in April, on Sunday. It will be the 11th of April. Those events are around vulnerability of the heart, but is for me the next step to show to show ourselves really vulnerable and with all what we are. Um, and Antoinette felt it as well, the next step after speaking our truth <clears throat> in March. And it is a subject or a topic of this little reading I will give you nearly now. First of all, I have uh, pulled a card for April as well. It is a card number 40. Was this, what is interesting because it is a 4 and April is the 4th month in this year. Antoinette will speak a bit about the numerology of 4 as well. And I have pulled Mao's spirit, tend to the small things. And what I feel with this card, it is really to, to honor all those small things. And first of all, honor all these little bits and pieces and different parts in ourselves that are building all together the beautiful, unique being that we are. So you see the card when I talk about that. And now I will speak about the reading, or better, I will read it to you. The informations I got while I painted the fourth quarter, the green one. The first color coming through for April is a light green. This time will give us a bit space to integrate what happened in March, to adapt, to relax a little as well, to breathe. 
go in nature, connect with nature, is an urgent information for April. To reconnect, to recharge, what will help us to integrate as well. Enjoy the sweet days of spring or autumn, wherever you are located in the world. Connect with Mother Earth. Feel her and let her feel that you are here to support her, coming back to her true nature, as she is supporting you to come back to your true nature. And connect with friends, family, soul family, with loved ones. Go in exchange with others about how you feel. What is going on in you? Show yourself vulnerable and true as you are. And make the experience that you are loved how you are with all your beauty and also all what you might still think is not okay with you. Show yourself how you are and invite by doing so that others do the same. Raw, simple and in all your beauty. With all what you are. Make the experience to be loved also in your bad moments. We are longing for being loved how we are, really, without conditions. How could that happen when you don't show who you are really? With all what you might call flaws, what might just be parts of you making you unique for others. How will you find out when you don't show yourself fully? There's something very sweet and heart opening in the energy of this April that could support you to open your heart first of all for yourself, much wider, and as a result for everybody else as well. <laughs> These were the informations I got while I was painting the um, green quarter with the heart and the pink flowers. I hope this is resonating for you or you will see how this will unfold in April. And I, what I found interesting as well that I had this information for March that for most of us something life-changing will happen. And I can tell this for myself. It was not so much really an outer big experience as more like little little experiences but really deep transformative experiences of speaking my truth and making really different experiences as I had in my former life. And the transformation I went through was not so much so well. My whole life has changed on the outside and at the same time I really felt how something really important, a really important part of me has healed in a way as I discovered that I can speak my truth with so much power in that and, and being heard and being seen and being not judged in the way I was used to. And and. My speaking the truth had another quality as well. So when I look back, the first step of making another experience was by doing different. So really acting different as I was used to, very conscious, very, very um, aware. While I was triggered, while I felt the pain and the fear of of rejection, of not being seen and, and to go in contact with all what was going on in me instead of hiding it and playing everything's fine, no problem. And so I can see for myself how I really created by acting different 
another outcome for myself. And this is really amazing. This is... <laughs> I don't know how this will play out in, in my future life. I can just tell that that this was an experience I'm, I'm yes in the spiritual world we talk about always if you want to have another outcome you have to act different and for sure you have to come to a place where you are really able to do that and then to do it even when your heart is beating even when you are really frightening being aware of all that's going on in you And then making other experiences. Just I can tell you, for me, this was life-changing, even when it's not such a big thing on the outer world. So not not bushfires, not um, a hurricane or something like that. Not a separation. This time not. Just really... Um, A really beautiful and life-changing experience. Have a look back what changed for you in, in, in um, March and maybe also have a look why the changed, how you created another outcome for yourself. In any case, whatever happened, whatever will happen in April, I wish you a beautiful month. It is really... Um, Heart opening, we will have heart opening and heart healing energies this month and acting out of the heart. A lot of action energy is coming up and it is another kind of acting as we are used to. So we will make new experiences once more. <laughs> This will go on this whole year and longer. I've got the feeling. If you would like to participate in one of our, in, in either the live reading or the guest uh, wisdom gathering circle, you're so very welcome. Have a look uh, in the description box here on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook. I will put out the links there. And if you need personal support, please reach out. I'm still available. I'm not yet on my film project. This will start in three weeks. Maybe. <laughs> We will see. <laughs> And I would like to support you. I would like to help you on your own healing journey. I send you tons of love and a big hug. Kaya. <laughs>